In this video, we're going to focus on writing an explicit rule for a geometric sequence. We're going to focus on looking at a table uh, to get our information for that sequence. The general notation we'll use for the explicit rule is an n and t of n. Now, n is just the number of the term. So the third term would be when n equals 3. The fifth term would be when n equals 5. T of n is the actual nth term itself. So when you plug in 3 to your rule, what do you actually get out for the term? So this is a function notation sort of look that we have here for that geometric sequence. Let's look at a couple examples where we're trying to determine the equation. So first off, what we notice is that in our table for n, the inputs, the table goes up by 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's important for us as we try to look at our rule. We also take a look at our outputs, t of n. We have 3, 6, 12, and 24. Now in a geometric sequence, we need to look at what you do from one term to get to the next. And it should be the same multiplier every single time that you multiply one term to get the next. So the multiplier should always be next over previous. So when you take the next term, like 6 in this example, and you divide it by 3, that's going to be equal to 2, which will be the same thing as when you take 24 and you divide by 12, or 96 and you divide by 48. So the multiplier in this scenario is equal to 2. And that's important for us because that's what we repeatedly multiply by every single time to get the next term. And once you take a look at your table, you also want to look at what your term 0 is. So our term 0 is 3. So in this scenario, our equation is going to be t of n is equal to 3 times 2, because that's your multiplier, to the nth power. So the nth power is up here because we are repeatedly multiplying by 2 every single time. So what we should see is that our general term, our general explicit equation for a geometric sequence is t of n equals a times r to the n. There's several other letters that other online sources might use here, but we're using r to represent this multiplier, where you do the next over previous. So that's where this 2 came from down here. Then it's to the power of n, so n is in that exponent. And then a would be that initial, or that term 0, that's out in front there. So we can use that as we take a look at our next example. And here what we have is we have another table. As we notice, it's going up by 1, so 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. And we take a look at our outputs. We have 2, 8, and 32, and so forth. As we take a look at trying to find our multiplier, our multiplier is that next over previous. So in this case, it doesn't matter which two sets you would use. If you chose 32 and 128, 128 would go on top and 32 would go on bottom. That's that next over previous. And if you did that, you would get that is equal to 4, which is what 2 times 4 is. That's 8. And then you would repeat 8 times 4 is 32. And so our uh, generator or our multiplier in this scenario is 4. Now we need to find our term 0, which is nice that it's in the table for us. Uh, for example, if, if this table started at 1, 8, you would need to work backwards to figure out what term 0 was. In this case, we have it given, so 0, 2. And so therefore, our rule will be t of n is equal to your term 0, which is 2, times 4 to the nth power. And that is how you would write the explicit rule for any geometric sequence from a table. It's nice to visualize how the change is going down your table, paying close attention to that your n values are going up by 1. Term 0 is what we use to help us find that part of the explicit rule. So pay attention to this general rule here. t of n equals a times r to the n, where a is term 0 r is your multiplier given by next over previous, and you should be able to write your explicit rule every single time.